Now, how many parents out there would love, I want you to raise your hands if you would love for your children to have cancer. Go ahead, raise your hands. How about diabetes? Raise your hand. Say, I. How about for your children to be obese, overweight? How about heart disease? Any parents out there raising their hands right now? I don't think any sane parent who truly loves their child would like for their child to have cancer, diabetes, heart disease. The, the, the question in it of itself you would think is just nonsensical. It's crazy. But what if I told you that many parents unintentionally, with I'm sure with a lot of love for their children, are unconsciously helping to contribute to their children having cancer, diabetes, heart disease, what would you th what would you say then? Because this is the truth. And I'm going to share some simple, there's brilliance in simplicity. I'm going to share some very simple yet profound advice with you from someone, it's not literally a mufti or a sheikh, but someone that, you, so you can equate that because usually when someone is of this stature, you say, wow, they have a lot of knowledge. So this person in this area is an expert in the science of food, in nutrition, and this is someone, one of my teachers. And I want to share this simple yet profound advice. Easy to understand, easy to digest, and this can be a catalyst from here for you to take off with. Pay attention. Keeping it real, real's how we keep it. Get ready for Eddie. Set back and beat Eddie show. An important point of awareness. Remember that we come into this world needing only one food. The milk from our mother's breasts. I mean, this is, this is what the Almighty Allah talks about in the Quran for two years. That the mother should be breastfeeding. This is like the most powerful foundation that you can build your child upon to have a, such a strong immune system to set him off for the rest of his life. Of course, at two, three years of age, there are other nutritious foods that children can enjoy and benefit from. And allowing your child to try a variety of foods has value, but variety should not overly be emphasized. Also, and unfortunately, it is common in our junk food and fast food, convenience food dominated culture for adults to project their own taste bud exciting food preferences and addictions unto your, unto your children. So he talks about, nutritionist expert Jim Marlowe talks about how parents, they end up projecting their food preferences on their children. So we see this happening a lot, that parents, they have an addiction to a certain food, they like a certain food, it's a junk food, fast food, whatever it is, they end up projecting what they like onto their kids and they corrupt their kids. Sweets and other refined and processed carbohydrates that have addictive qualities can corrupt a child's taste buds and cause a child to lose touch with the nutritional instinct that they were born with. Feeding your child high quality, nutrient dense, wholesome food, which I suggest that you think of simply as real food, helps to strengthen a child's nutritional instinct. More than a few times over the years, I have heard from mothers with children who had uncorrupted taste buds about how their child loves liver and has no interest in eating sweets. Now you think, liver, ah, that's nasty. But I used to hate liver. Let's take this example here, a living example. But when I learned how beneficial liver is, for example, uh, uh, that's one out of the many real foods that are out there, I re-educated my taste buds. I found that liver was something that our parents would eat and their parents would eat. They were onto something. But today, the child's taste buds have been so corrupted with eating fake 
foods, chemicalized, processed junk foods, they don't like the real food. But when we, when we train ourselves to eat to live, not living to eat, it's a totally different experience. So I re-educated myself to love something that's beneficial for me. Liver being the most nutrient-dense food, you get the most bang for your buck. Unfortunately, but not surprisingly, it is rare for a child in our culture not to have some degree of carbohydrate addiction by the age of two or three. The adult world around them encourages it. Ice cream, cookies, candy, and other sweets are used by nutritionally unconscious adults to reward children. Now, many of us, with the best with the best love for our children, we end up corrupting their taste buds. We end up corrupting their bodies by rewarding them with fake, junk, toxic foods. And, and, and a simple way to substitute that is to reward them with real foods. The real food that the Almighty has given us. With a banana, a date, with an apple, with an orange. Not with something toxic, with something po with something that's actually damaging. Remember we talked about earlier the skyrocketing number of statistics of heart disease, cancer, obesity, diabetes in kids, their teeth just falling out. You think Allah made the teeth that, you know, they're supposed to fall out that soon? I mean, we, we've seen corpses that their teeth have, and dead bodies have, have gone on to continue to be preserved. It's the food that is destroying not only the children's teeth but everything else in their body. He says, I share all of this with you in support of emphasizing the following hard-earned wisdom. You know, there are many people who had to struggle, they had to seek knowledge, they had to, you know, go through a lot to get this information and you're getting it to you. It's very simple. So this hard-earned wisdom, he says, be consciously careful about what foods you allow your children to be introduced to. The commercial food industry is expert at imparting addictive qualities into the highly processed, chemicalized products that they sell as food, in addition to making the most of the addictive qualities of sugar and refined starches. Now we're finishing up here. Powerful, simple, profound advice. He says, I strongly support that children should be protected from these fake food products as much as practically possible rather than being encouraged to partake in them. What's fake food? Fake food is anything with a list of ingredients that you can't pronounce, your grandparents didn't recognize as real food. It's something that's gone through the human process for longer shelf life on the shelves. Something toxic you put in your, your body has addictive elements, has no nutritional value. Krispy Kreme, Dunkin' Donuts, Pop-Tarts, Snicker bar, an Oreo cookie, ice cream. Someone might say, what's the big deal? I reward them once in a while. No, the big deal is, did you raise your hand in the beginning? And I said, would you like for your child to have cancer, heart disease, obesity? Nobody raised their hands. But the big deal is that when you come to know that sugar, white processes are fine, high fructose corn syrup, white sugar, brown sugar, these kind of sugars are highly, they're, they're, they're pumped into the majority of these fake food items. They're addictive, eight, seven to eight times more addictive than cocaine. So now when your child's climbing up in the cupboards, he's looking for this food, he's addicted. He's having mood swings, crying. He won't eat the liver. He won't eat the real food, the veggies, the banana, the apple, the real food that the Almighty, that Allah gave us. But he's smart. But he can't distinguish what's nutrition nutritionally beneficial and what's actually destroying and, and helping to produce cancer in his body, diabetes, and all these other health disorders because of the fake food, chemicalized food that now you're putting in your child's body. You don't want them to have cancer or any of these things. You didn't raise your hands, did you? No, you didn't because you love your child. So if you love your child, then do what's best for your child, for yourself. Eat real food. Take this profound, simple yet profound advice. And I'm telling you, 
that if you implement this and you live by it, you will see tremendous changes in your health, in your child's health. You will help to protect your child from these chronic health disorders. You won't be contributing to the demise of your, your health or your child's health. So community leaders in the masjids, we shouldn't have Coca-Cola parties, ice cream cake cookies. You can, you can substitute the ingredients in a cookie with natural ingredients. Find out what they are. We don't have time for this in this video. You can substitute the snicker bars, the toxic. Remember, th these things, again, help to feed the cancers, help to destroy your child's health. So why not replace it with a real food? A date. You know the date? It's a real food, a living food. An apple, a banana, an orange. Instead of the ice cream and the cookies and all of this other garbage. Because you care for your kid and you don't want them to have cancer. Follow this profound yet simple advice of keeping the fake food, chemicalized food away from your home, from your family. Train your kids to develop nutritional integrity yourself first and foremost. And then projecting good values of nutrition onto your kids and you will help to protect them. Again, you didn't raise your hand because you don't want that for your child. But if you continue to go on, you're not raising your hand, but you actually are because you're helping to contribute to your child if you don't follow this advice to tomorrow having cancer, an epidemic amongst kids today, something that was unheard of at a certain time, some time back. But today, this the, the number of kids that are Dying from these things, not expected to, the first generation of kids not expected to outlive their parents because of the toxic fake foods that they're eating. And the parents, the kids aren't going to, to, the, to the store buying this stuff. You're buying it. So you got to stop. And I'm going to leave you with some homework. A great documentary to watch is Fed Up or Sugar Coated. And if you can do this simple state is to eliminate the sugar, the high fructose corn syrup, the, this is a great catalyst, a great place to start and keep it simple. It's not convoluted, something abstruse and hard to understand. Real food is our God-given right. Allah had, had given it to us, you know, 50, 100 years ago. There's no such thing as organic food. It was just real food. Cooking the stuff at home, rewarding them with real foods. I'll give you an example of a banana, an apple. A date. Right now you're like, they won't eat that. Of course, you've, been, you, you, you've already corrupted them. So now you got to reintroduce it, eliminate the fake food, incorporate the real food into your life and your family's life, and then you will live the difference. You will see the difference in your health and your children's health. And what do I have to benefit? Only to the reward from the Almighty and, and, and out of love. I, I, I really see so many kids affected, so many parents, so many people's health being affected. And, and there's such a simple simple yet profound solution out there if you just implement you start off with implementing this simple yet profound advice from an expert in this area and you'll see inshallah god willing the benefits thank you assalamu alaikum peace be with you